Hey, Casper Stockham here, your coach for success. Just so you know where I stand, I have over 25 years of experience in the industry of network marketing. I have worked it full-time and part-time over the years. I am currently full-time in my present company, and in the next few minutes, I want to share with you the power of commitment. One of the most important things you can do for your business is to make a commitment for that business. Now, what does it mean to make a commitment? And what does it look like in your mind to make a commitment? And then, what does it feel like for you to make that commitment? When it comes to a breakfast meal of bacon and eggs, the chicken is involved, but the pig is committed. You need to be committed to your business. Now, before we get into the many facets of commitment, let's define the word commitment. The commitment is the act or state of being committed. It's the act of pledging or engaging oneself. It's also a promise or obligation. It's also an engagement or involvement in something. Okay, so that defines commitment. Now, based on the previous definitions, we're all committed to many things in our lives. Most of us have a spiritual commitment. We have family commitments. We also have friendship commitments. And we also have job and or business commitments. Now, the strength or power of our commitments is determined by our why. It all starts with our why. Then our why drives our commitment, and our commitment drives our actions, and our actions produce results that give us the strength and power that satisfies our why, and so on. Now, all that sounds wonderful, but here's the problem. If our why is not strong enough, our commitment is weak, so our actions are few and far between, so we see very little results. Our why is not satisfied, and we lose the strength and power to continue on our journey. So what's the answer? Well, believe it or not, the answer is much easier than the problem. But, what I've found is over the last 25 years, that people will not do what it takes to build their dream if their why is weak. Sometimes it takes great pain to move off of that rusty nail. Sometimes it takes one or more layoffs to decide, you know what, <laughs> enough is enough of this. What I have found to be true is when the why is big enough, the how is very, very easy. You will need to decide what commitment means to you. Are you a person of your word? When you tell someone something, can they count on you? Can your family and friends count on you? Can your company and team members count on you? Now, what does commitment look like to you? In your world of commitment, can people be trusted to do what they say? Do you have anyone in your warm circle that you can count on and vice versa? If the answer is no, then you need to work on your circle. I would also venture to say that you are having a difficult time building your business as well if this is the case. So what does commitment feel like to you? And it is a feeling. In your world of commitment, do you feel comfortable with the level of your commitment and the level of commitment from people around you? Do you have anyone in your warm circle that you feel committed to? If the answer is no, I would guess that this is also a cause and is causing you difficulties in building your business as well. Now the simple answer is you. Your commitment is something you have total control over, not someone else, you. Your belief is something you have total control over. Your attitude is something you have total control over. And your action is something you have absolutely total control over. Now the simple truth is, it's not the fact that gas or taxes are too high, <laughs> you just can't afford them. And if people in your company are growing and doing well, it's not the company, it's you. In a down economy, people are still making money all over the place. So if you're not, it's your fault. And it's not the government's job to keep you working. It's your job to provide for you and your family. That's the simple truth of the matter. Just like in The Wizard of Oz, the power of commitment and the power to build your business have always been and will always be within your reach. 
Success leaves clues, so plug in, stay coachable, and never quit, and you will be extremely successful in your business. Hey, my name is Casper Stock. I'm your coach for success. You have a great day.